Hello guys, welcome back to the Adventures of Polonius, and as you can see, we are now using classic models. Um, they accidentally just loaded up, sometimes it happens where the classic models just load up on their own, and I was like, you know, I kind of am feeling this, I kind of like it. So I decided to go all classic models, perhaps when Luckling comes out, I'll switch back. I also noticed that once I did that, the special texture pack that I tried to install kicked in and it wasn't working before and I don't know why it wasn't working with the Luckland models maybe you have to use classic models to get it to work but you can see the cool texture I have on the ground and the cave and basically all the terrain is because of the texture pack that I was using on P99 um, and now it's working here too so to recap we're level 8 and we've got a bunch of loot in our bags that we're gonna hold on to because the dwarves are indifferent to us and we're gonna make a trip back home anyway so I figured why don't we just hold on to it get back home where we're amiable maybe we'll get just a little bit extra coin for it we're not overweight so there's no loss in carrying it with us for now and um, that's the plan we're gonna head back because now that we're level 8 the guy that we need to kill to get the blood forged hammer quest item which is his head that guy is level 5 and I'm pretty sure we can handle level 5. Ooh, Black Hammer. Oh, he is not a vendor. I was just kind of... I kind of just... I want to check out prices, you know? That's why I'm swinging by there. So we're making the run right now to Lower Fadark. Lesser Fadark. Low, lower Fay, Lesser Fay. It's Lesser, isn't it? Yeah. And there we are going to take the Shard of Decay book to... Uh, back to just outside of Quenos Hills in uh, West Karana. We'll head back home. We will uh, sell. See how much money we have. And depending on how much money we have, we might just spend some of it to fill some of our armor slots. Unfortunately, we were unable to quest it. So we're going to have to buy it unless we figure out some other quest. I guess we can do the... I guess we can do the... Uh, the Bear Cloaks quest with Chanda Miller. I found out, somebody mentioned in the comments, I, I can't remember your name, I apologize. Um, I'll look it up during a pause and I'll, I'll re-mention it, but someone mentioned in the comments that I can raise faction by doing a quest from the Paladin Guild that will, where I take blankets to the residents of Karana, so we'll do that so that Chanda Miller wants to talk to us, although I have the sense that, um, uh, she might have already wanted to talk to us. Like, she didn't want to talk to us, but I think she would have taken the quest items and given us the quest reward anyway, if that makes sense. But we might as well raise the faction to be sure. Well, we'll we could just try it, but either way, we're heading... <laughs> long story short, we're heading back home. We're going to get that guy's head, and we might chill there for a little bit. Um, try to kill some bears or something. Well, no, we kind of want to get that hammer and start leveling that up. We're gonna come back here though, because I think the skeletons that I want to kill, they're right over here. I might even have the balls to try one right now. Let's see if the guards are up. Looks like these guards are down, so that reduces the likeliness of my having said balls. Nice old blood forge. I hail him. Oh, I got some heavy lag going on. Oh, just no response, that's all. Yeah, see, over here there's the dwarf skeletons. And. You know. Alright, we just got jumped by Corflunk. He's level 7. This could be the end of us, but we have Leon Hands, and we do want his head. But he is. We are not landing a single hit yet? Okay, there we go. Alright, we're gonna have to use Leon Hands on him. We were gonna have to hunt him down anyway. So we're going to go for it. Hey, look, we're taking the lead. What do you need, Lon Lon? You have clothes in your wardrobe. Put on your shoes. Go in there. Use your eyes. 
If you can't find it, you use your eyes and look for it. If you already took it, it's there. Just you need to look, buddy. Don't just always ask mommy and daddy to do everything for you. Every time you say you can't find it, we look for like 10 seconds and we find it. Right now I'm too busy, but you need to actually try yourself. This is a close one, but we got land hands, so I'm not worried. That is the cool thing about having this character. I wasn't really supposed to be playing right now. I was just going to start the run, because I, like I said, I was heading back back home. I was just going to start the run, and whenever I had to get off, I'd just sit down and log off. And I was just recording an intro. But, you know, one thing led to another, apparently. Jeez. And look, we won't even have to use Lay on Hands. Core Flunk's going down. Got a bunch of skill ups. One hand blunt goes 141, 42, 43. Defense went up a level. Uh, bash went up a level. Offense went up two levels. Yeah, that was a plentiful fight right there. And let's see, 37% goes up to... Goes up to... Goes up to... Oh my god. Apparently this guy's got like the best AGI that you'd ever hear, hear from. No, he's like dodging everything despite his size. 39. Only 2% but... And no weapon. He had a chance to drop. I found out the other day on the wiki. He has a chance to drop like uh, What's it called? A bronze weaponry which would have been pretty cool all right so now we get to just regen HP while we're making the long run back to Quenos I'm gonna get into greater fate arc and camp out there because I feel a little bit safer in that zone I'm gonna pause it while we run over it in that direction oh before I pause it just want to say there's a dwarf skeleton blue con looks like we're not gonna try him right now but I plan on coming back and killing these guys. They're indifferent cons. They don't attack on sight. I don't know if they social, but I think maybe I think they do. But the spawns near the druid ring and the other place I'm thinking about. Ooh, I think we need the orc runner too. Gosh, I'm gonna am I really gonna do this right now? I got lay on hands. This is really risque. Oh, he's crushing us right now. Oh my gosh, is this going to be the end? Is this going to be the end of us? But there was a quest that involved killing this guy. I got to make sure I don't die, but I want to do the lay on hands as late as possible. Okay, that's as late as possible as far as I'm concerned. If you can't find it, go to your room and get another one. It's that simple, buddy. I've already told you. This is kind of nice. I forget exactly what I needed this guy for, but I remember I was looking at quests and I was thinking, oh, the orc runner, all right. I know about him. He just doubled up. Bash is already 45, it's already maxed. And one hand blunt is quite nearly there too. We got like four levels of Bash just on this fight. Interesting RNG. It's almost like they tweaked it somehow. I don't remember level ups happening like this. Oh, runner pouch. Okay, that's the quest item that we need. We got a small cloth shirt. Okay, we'll take it. And a rusty mace. We'll take that too. It puts us overweight, but not by so much. And there's a vendor up here. We can sell the, the mace. Well, there goes the uh, lay on hands, but... By golly, it was worth it. Two named mobs that we might have had to spend some time hunting down just threw themselves in our path. And we took care of them just fine. But uh, it's getting scary. I'm not going to lie. Getting scary. Thank God we had that lay on hands. There, we are no longer encumbered. Alright, going to pause it. 
All right. Here we are in Gfei, and I looked up the Orc Runner quest, and it's a Kelethin turn-in for the possibility of getting a Tarnished Bastard Sword, which would be a definite upgrade of 640. Be a one-hand slash. 532, 640, I don't know. It's a almost one-fourth increase in delay for a one-fifth one increase in damage. Hmm. But it's only one of like five possible rewards, so we'll see if we even get that lucky. The turn-in is at the Ranger's Guild. And also the turn-in for the Pixie Dust, which would give me another piece of armor, is at the Ranger's Guild. We got five out of the six necessary Pixie Dusts, so we're going to hunt down one more Pixie Trickster before we head that way. What have we here? An Orc Centurion. A blue con, right next to the newbie lift. Well, don't mind if I do. Let's even try using some two-hand slash, why not? Uh-oh. Looks kind of laggy, doesn't it? There we go. There's an 18-point slash. Another 18-point slash. No luck on skill-ups yet, though. We're definitely taking more of a beating since we switched to this thing. But we'll have plenty of time to regen. There we go. Got him on the run. 19 point slash. Very nice. Alright, no skill ups on the slashing, but wow, macked out on the loot. We don't even have room for this guy. Let's see where it could probably fit in a backpack, I assume. There we go. Now we appear to be amiable with the wood elves, so we can sell all of our stuff here. Well, we're actually indifferent to the merchants, but you know what? That's good enough for me. I'm too eager to to see how much we get. We're only getting one gold a piece for these things, so it wasn't as good as I was hoping. Rusty broadsword, five and thirty-six. Hmm, that's almost as good as what we're using now, but it's not quite as good. All the small stuff that we can't wear, unfortunately. At least it's adding up to some cash. But it would have been much nicer if we just got gear we could wear. Alright, so we're at about six plat or something. Interesting. Should I get a small sewing kit and just try to make my own stuff? It's starting to seem like that might be the way to go. But first, I think I would like to check out whether or not I can actually find some gear worth purchasing. Maybe a new weapon. Here's the Rogue's Guild. Let's see what they have for sale in here. That would be a piercing weapon. We don't want piercing. An axe for 3 platinum. 6 damage, 31. Now that is a good upgrade. 4 damage, 27. Not so good. So an axe is an option. It will take a good amount of our money. And it is a skill that we would have to re-level up. 
but it might be time to part with the crack staff. Which we would get more than a platinum for. So, hmm. we might be walking out of here with an upgrade. But I want to go to the Ranger's Guild, do that turn in first. Alright, just converted my coin, and we're at 7 platinum. And if you can think of this crack staff, that means we're at 8. 8.3 platinum is our current bankroll. Not bad at all. Gotta remember, I have a Null Fang as well. In fact, since we're at a bank now, let me grab it and throw it in a bag, since we're going to be heading home soon. That way we can turn it in. Get a nice XP jump, maybe some money, I forget what else he potentially could give us. And I believe the Ranger's Guild, where we're going to turn in the pack, is just down here. I mean, I should know. I, uh... I main a Wood Elf Ranger on the server, so far anyway. My enchanter is catching up now. Here it is. And we want... Dill Fire Shrine. Hail Dill Fire Shrine. Welcome to the treetops and the home of the Fedor champions. We are the skilled rangers of the Fadarks. You are in safe in Keladon, but watch it yourself upon the forest floor. I hear the blue meanies have been mean on... have been on the rise. Blue meanies? That's a little name I have given the Crushbone Orcs. It appears they have increased their numbers. The Emerald Warriors are charged with our defense against them. We rangers are to seek out the Orc Saboteurs. Tell me more about these Orc Saboteurs. As others move to battle the Orc armies, we have word that the Orc Pawns have been sent into the woods to damage the great trees which support Kelethin. We shall employ the talents of our young rangers to halt their efforts. I currently seek those who will hunt the Orc Pawns. Oh, Arendelle cheers us. Hello, Arendelle. Maybe a viewer. Oh, it looks like he's taken off. So didn't want to say anything, just wanted to cheer. So I'll never know. Mm. I will hunt the orc pawns. Go to the forest floor and seek out the orc pawns. Within their ranks can sometimes be found an orc hatchetman. They carry orc hatchets, which you must return, and I shall reward you for every two orc hatchets. And perhaps offer you a weapon in return, should we have any to spare at the time. Ooh, okay. Let's check out and see what we can get from the orc hatchet. Orc hatchet, P99. This might be a way for us to get a weapon without blowing some of our platinum. No, you could get a tarnished scamatar, 533. Tarnished bastard sword, 640. So we're looking at the same rewards that we might get for, uh... Let's try giving him the runner pack. Apparently, I'm not sure how to activate that quest. But let's give it a shot. He gave us some leather gloves. Which I think we can wear. No, we cannot wear them? Why? Why am I not... Is it because these gloves are still on? There we go. There we go. Leather gloves. AC4 up from AC2. 2 AC increase. Not the weapon I was aiming for, but perhaps in a way even better. Well, we got that done. I'm not sure I want to come back here to turn in the um, pixie dusts. But I think I will get the free bag that she's going to give me. Exterminate the pixies. <clears throat> then I will give you this pouch. Should you fill and combine it with pixie dust, I shall pay you greatly for your deeds. We may even find use for the dust itself. Careful though, they may be. Many are quite strong. Search out the weak ones for now. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six slot bag. So we've got five. I think it's going to give us like tattered or raw small, I'd probably rawhide. And I'm ready to just kind of move on. I didn't find a pixie trickster before I came up here like I said I would. But I'm thinking maybe we switch to one hand slash again. Hmm. Should we buy this axe? Well, we kind of have, we're kind of getting high on platinum. We might want to wait. The, the longsword's too much. 
We might want to wait. Wasn't there another option that I was thinking was better? I heard tales of the the Minotaur axe. It's a bit slow of a swinger, though. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What to do? Let's go check out the Paladin Guild in Felwith, since we're in the town. And see what other options are before us. Also see how the High Elves feel about us. Well, I can't help but swing by the smithy, since I saw it on the way down out of the treehouse. Looks like it's about the same selection and the same prices, but we have a battle axe for 11 platinum, 735. Whereas our axe is 631. Axe is three platinum, battle's 11. You know, I'm thinking that since we need armor, maybe I should just be getting armor. I mean, we're only getting one more damage. I think it is worth it. We're buying this axe. I'm doing it. It's done. It is done. The deed is done. But I'm keeping the crack staff because my one hand slashing skill is so low. I want to use this crack staff for when we kill the or the dwarf in South Quenos that we need to kill. All right, enough farting around here. Let me pause it and try to get all the way back home. You know, guys, I couldn't help myself. I looked at my pack. I've got two ruined wolf pelts on me. I think I'm going to buy a large sewing kit. And I'm going to <coughs> try to make myself some armor with these ruined pelts. It's going to be tattered, but I think it will fit. And I'm going to avoid making the slot that I need from Chanda Miller. I think she can make me a back piece. So we're going to try to make wrist or arm or shoulder, which are our, or face. Those are our empty slots as of now. But first, we're going to run to Felwith, and we're going to go to the Paladin Guild there, and we're going to drop a couple points into tailoring. And maybe, maybe into one hand slash? No, we can level that up. Well, I ended up coming across a pixie trickster on the way to Felwith, and we got our sixth pixie dust, so maybe I will run all the way back up there and turn that in. Oh uh, yeah, it's probably not going to be worth it, but might as well. Should do what we set out to do. Then I can show you the quest, because I think it's one of the greatest ways for a newbie character to get geared out in this zone. Um, it's really nice. We can also turn some bone chips in and fell with why we're there. It's really nice because you can get, I think, not just patchwork, but also the next level up from that, which is crazy. I think I got some rawhide from it. I think I got like full rawhide from it. And they're level 2 mobs so you compare that to getting tattered and patchwork for killing crushbone orcs, which you can't really do until like 6 or 7, but you can do this at 2 or 3. It's pretty amazing. So I will show you that. Just because if you ever start a character here in g -Fay, that's really good to know. I suppose this is the music I gotta use if I ever get into editing my channel because I'm Sundrith, man. High Elf from the start. See, I could have bought here a 4 platinum for a broadsword, 632. That doesn't seem any better than the axe. I guess it would look cool, but here's some spells. And here must be my trainer. All right, let's see, we got five, only five skills to use. I think we're gonna drop them all into into tailoring. I mean, one hand slash is 25, it's not that far behind. So there we go, tailoring at level five. Oh, I forgot to get the recipes I need, so we're gonna have to track down a, a tailor in this zone. But I think I'm also gonna throw a bag in the bank. 
I got too many to have a shield out in easy access. I got too many bags, so one of our less helpful bags is going to end up in the bank. Oh, but first... Hey, Apollonius, we of the Tanari are charged with protecting the Great Mother from the forces of Inaruk. Even now, the evil minions of this foul deity are despoiling our great forest. Will you help us protect the Mother? I will help you protect the Mother, sir. Just outside the gates of Felwet, the forces of Inra gather in the guise of decaying skeletons. Bring me four sets of bone chips as proof of your vigilance. I assure you, your faith shall not go unrewarded. Now in Calithim, if I turned in, I mean in Kaladim, if I turned in in Kaladim, I think I get some, some gear to sell. That'd probably be the way to go, but I hear all, the XP is the best here. Oh, of course, he wants them in sets of four, and I got seven. One short of two turn-ins. Well, let's see what we get. We are at 56% takes us to 59%. We got 3%. That's not bad at all. I think usually you get a spell as well. Yep. Strike. Which we can then turn around and sell for one silver. Just like a pixie wing, basically. But hey, every cent counts. Every cent counts. Here's the gear uh, vendors. They are apprehensive, so I probably should not be purchasing stuff here. Look at that price. Oh my gosh. I think she's the one who's got the chainmail. Chainmail might be in range for us. Might be what we end up having to do. You know, each piece is more affordable, but it's down the road, that's for sure. You got any leather? Ooh, she's got an oak shaft. And spent some time with the wood elves there, Opal. <laughs> Ooh, here's some weapons. The staff. One hand blunt, 528. Ooh. That's pretty good. I kind of may be wondering if I should have waited. But the axe will have to do for now. We could also upgrade our shield, which would increase the damage of our bash, but... Right now we got a... What's our shield do? It's an AC4. I don't think we want it by every... Every level up. AC6. AC7. But it's heavy. We could use it though. It's super heavy though. Hmm. Well, if damage of bash is really based on that, we've been getting some nice bashes. We could increase the damage of that. I don't know. It would be 3 AC. I'm thinking we need to capitalize more on AC, get our defense skill leveling up faster. But thanks anyways, guys. Alright, so this is our pixie dust bag, and I've got six pixie dust in there ready to combine. It's not working though. It's probably because I got the banker window open. Let's try that again. Oh, it's probably because I put the bag in the bank. I probably need to have it on my person. There we go. Now this is ready to be turned in at the ranger guild. So that's going to be another bag short. Which will leave two slots down here. But I put this box in the bank because it can only hold tiny items anyway. So, whatever. If we need another one, we'll just buy it. Right? Alright, we're on our way back to Kelethan. We're going to do two things there. We're going to turn in that bag of pixie dusts. And we are going to hit up a tailor and buy a couple of rest recipes for gear that we could make. I'm thinking, why don't we make wrist pieces? Although, hmm, I wonder if we could wear the Legionnaire bracers that would drop in Crush Bone. Assuming we're ever actually killing Legionnaires, right? Let's go for another Pixie Trickster. Wouldn't that be cool if we killed another six on the way? Let's turn it in. Well, we got... Oh. We got one more. 
Whoa, two more. We might just get two turn-ins here, boyos. We'll see if we see more on the way. Now we're on the path between Felwith and the Nooblift in Kelethin. And this is the place where you go to hunt pixie tricksters. I found out on my ranger who had track, because I came here looking for them, tracking them, and I found it dragging me down this path towards Felwith, just one pixie trickster after another. So if you start a wood elf or even a high elf, and you want to do this pixie trickster armor quest, they also drop, you know, rusty weapons and whatnot. Just keep in mind, the path between the newbie lift and Felwith is littered with pixie tricksters. They're also in the forest off the path towards the, z the nearest zone line, like that side more often than the other, like away from Kelethin, the direction I'm facing right now. Um, that's where you'll find them. Wow, we're about halfway to the new lift and we're halfway to another quest turn in. Let's keep our eyes open for more pixie tricksters. There's another one. So you, you can imagine you're getting a piece of gear for every six. You're getting XP. Let's say you're like level four. Level four is always an awkward level at the newbie yard here. Because all those mobs are like level one except for the occasional level two. But the pixie tricksters are consistently level two. And nobody else is hunting them over here. When I was I was playing my ranger hunting these when the, the server had just opened. Noob Yard was packed. You could barely find a mob over by those abandoned druid rings near the noob lift. But didn't see another soul in the forest hunting the pixie tricksters like I was. Um, I found that quest naturally. I was in my guild, did some hailing, some talking. At that point, I was not making videos, so you're not going to find a video of it. But take my word for it. Discovered it naturally. And geared myself out. And I was surprised to see I was getting better gear than you would get if you were to do the... Um, oh, is that a crack staff? Please be a crack staff. It's probably just a worn grease staff. I was getting... Oh, it looks like a crack staff. Yes! I was getting better gear than I would have gotten from Crushbone Belt Turnins. Now again, this particular character can't use him. Oh, it is a worn grace theft. It looked like he was a one hand wielding it. Still, we're heading to town. This is all just money. We're just making bank. It just feels like such a much richer grind than what we did in the Quenos area. But people run, rant and rave about how awesome Quenos is. And I did like the richness of the dialogue and quests and the characters in that city. However, when it comes to actually making money, I'm feeling like this is a better zone, and I don't even think this zone's that great. <laughs> Look how long this crack staff looks on this server. Alright, anyway. So you see, here's the newbie lift, and I remember finding a ton of pixies near the cross kind of like the crossroads point it's not really a crossroads but it's when you're kind of like near these trees and a hill i remember i think it was like yeah there's the hill like right here i was fighting a pixie trickster and i got jumped by one another one and i moved on to the second one only to get jumped by a third so this is like a convergence point of pixie trickster patrols not seeing them now maybe it was over in this hill but yeah, heavy pixie trickster population on this path. Now that I already got three more dusts from those pixie tricksters, I find myself hunting more, even though the quest is gonna give me negligible XP, and just something that I could sell probably for like one gold. It's starting to feel like it's not worth it. Here's one more, but it's been kind of dry. I was just about to give up when I when I saw this one on the way to the lift. And no dust, so I think I am still going to give up. I'll make one more run through the abandoned rings here and see what we find. But, yeah, I think we're done. Time to go turn in and get out of here. Oh, 
There's another one. That's four. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, another Orc Centurion. And he's at a good level for us to just try to level something up. Maybe we try to do our one-hand slash. Again. Two-hand slash went up to 21. I'm not so worried about that right now, though. Our foreseeable upgrade is two-hand blunt. Oh, there's a trickster. Nice heavy bash for 12. Is it doing three times the AC of the shield? Because if I upgrade to seven, that means I could bash for 20. That might be the way to go, because the bashes are hitting hard. Oh wow, are we at five? If we are at five, I gotta, yep, we gotta find that last pixie, pixie dust, you guys. No choice at all. Is this it? Give us the dust. Oh, I am cursed. Now I'm encumbered. Just killed Nork Pawn, and I just wanted to say he dropped three silver. That's pretty spoilage for our pawns. So much money around here. Fingers crossed, you guys. This is the one. But if not, I just saw another one over the ridge as well. Look, there's three here. See what I'm saying? We're about halfway between the newbie lift and Felwith. It's just Pixie Haven. There we go. We're not going for any more. Two turn-ins is all we need. But if you're watching this, they stack up to 20, those dusts. So you can just run around, grind as much XP as you can, killing them. And then just go do a bunch of turn-ins at once. That's the real best way to, to do it. Oh my gosh, another one with another weapon? I can't turn down the money, but I'm not going for another six pixie dusts. If I'm just because I started... Oh gosh, there is one pixie dust. We're just going to get these rusty spears. If, you know, if we get like five of them, it's almost another platinum. You see Dryadia, Lost and Self-Found. That's a self-found guild. So if you're interested in doing self-found, but not solo, like myself, and not hardcore probably, you can join that guild. And I think that's a really cool idea. I kind of wish that I didn't do put the solo tag on so I could just, you know, at least group with people sometimes. At least other self-found guys, you know, but I did, so that's that. We are no longer encumbered. Again, gonna save some stuff for when we go back home. This is the newbie lift. So to get to the bank, for those of you who don't know, from the noob lift, you wanna head towards the other lift, which is to the right. You'll find yourself going by the Bard's Guild and this pack wearer's shop and going down this super big dip, which will show you the other lift right there. Now, once you pass that lift, do I go I think you turn go down the left ramp here yeah and then turn left again and that should take you up I believe to the bank all right and the Rangers Guild is just a continuing to go up and turn right now, uh, that seems easy, but you wouldn't believe how much time I spent running around here mapping this place out in my brain, getting lost. Hail Rats on fire. Oh yes, we already have the bag, so let's give it to her. Let's see if we get any experience. We're at 59%. No, but we did get some patchwork boots. Which we can wear! 
Oh my gosh, I think we might have just found out what we're gonna do for the rest of this video. Look at that, we have wolf hide boots which do AC4 and these two AC3. But let me just see if we, we could wear them. Okay, so we can wear the patchwork armor that we get from her for this quest. It might be worth hanging out here and just killing a bunch of pixie tricksters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh lordy. Well, what we can do is we can hang out by the orcs and um, and kill the orcs. And there's some pixie tricksters over there too, but there's just not as many of them. It would slow down the pixie trickster grind considerably to do it over there. I'm gonna have to think about this. I should probably go and finish my quest to get the uh, Bludgeforge two-handed hammer. Then I could be leveling that skill up. Let's sell this rusty two-handed battle axe. Oh, that feels better. That thing was heavy. Oh, let's see if we get another piece of gear right now. Exterminate the pixies. Is that right? Yep, there we go. Where, what happened to the pixie dust that I, there it is. This is it. This is our quest, I think, to get ourselves some armor. Oh, we got boots again. Is it boots only? Or is that just bad luck? I think that's just bad luck. I really do. But look, they sell for one gold. Mm -hmm. Rawhide belt, AC3. The same as the wolf belt. Where did we get this rawhide belt? Did she give that to us too? I think she did. I think she also gave us a rawhide belt. Okay. Let's sell that. Six gold. Very nice. So you can see we get some rawhide from this quest as well. Which makes some money. Okay. We need to hunt some pixies. Alright guys. I've decided to call this particular session here. Because I've decided we're going to hang out here for a while. And we're going to grind pixies. It's a, I kind of want to watch a show with my wife. And I have to start it now. Or she will complain about it being too late. So I'm going to finish this session here. Um, I might I might have to go to South Quenos first. Because I don't know how much longer we have on the event zones. But um, I'm going to hang out here. And off camera. Because there's really no danger to us. We're going to kill a bunch of pixies. Get a bunch of pixie dust. And we're going to just try to get ourselves completely outfitted in armor. Um, I think if we do it this way, we're going to come away with a bunch of cash and a bunch of armor that we didn't have to pay money for. You see how they're dropping rusty weapons like crazy. Um, we're going to get duplicates like crazy that we sell. Rawhide duplicates that sell for like half a platinum. And so I'm hoping with all of that, we can have a decent stash of platinum to, I don't know. Maybe we don't spend it on a weapon, because we're going to get the Blood Forge Hammer. Maybe we spend it on a new shield. Uh, I'm still not sure whether to go one hand or two hand. If anybody has any suggestions in that regard, what they think I'm better off doing, one hand or two hand. Um, and I don't just mean according to my current level. I mean in general, as a solo paladin. Um, I know right now one hand is probably going to be best because I don't think I can capitalize on the extra damage a two hand has to offer. For example, the Blood Forged Warhammer that we're going for, it's got a 1350 ratio. But that 13 damage, which would normally double to 26, and then it would add what some, depending on my strength, so it could do up to 27 or 28 per hit, it's going to be capped at 20. So I'm losing some of the value of that. It's more like a 1050 than a 1350. Whereas I can take full advantage of the one hand weapon. So we're probably good for one handed, but I think that cat moves up to 30 at level 10. I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's right. So at level 10, then it would be viable. But then again, 
A good shield with bash. It seems to be doing some decent damage too. Not to mention, I'm sure it's helping with damage mitigation. Um, so two questions. What do you guys think? One hand with the shield with bash or two handed? And also, does the shield only add the AC points or does it add some extra degree of protection it being a shield like you think a shield would add like a certain amount of block or something above and beyond just the extra ac so does anybody know about that and if so could you let me know in the comments anyway we're gonna wrap this one up for now i'm gonna spend some time killing pixies um probably the beginning of the next video will be me killing the rogue in south quenos and bringing his head back to Caledon. Um, I don't know whether that's going to happen before or after I kill a bunch of pixies and get some armor. We will see. I'll catch you next time. Peace.